So let's face it, rarely are you going to be given just a number problem. It's going to be in the form of a word problem. And this is about solving word problems where there's variables on both sides. Now, this is really a true instance of how you can use algebra in real life to really find out what makes two things equal given different circumstances. So let's look at some of these word problems. So it says Jamie spends the same amount. That tells you, oops, that tells you the equal sign. Okay, she spends the same amount of money each, oh, it's he, each morning um, on Sunday. So, same amount of money, so it's equal. On Sunday, he bought a newspaper for $1.25, and he also bought two donuts. And then on Monday, he bought a newspaper for $0.50, cents and he bought five donuts. I hope he was sharing those with some people at the office. Uh, what is the cost of one donut? So what we're trying to find, the variable is the price of the donut. So let's go back in and set this up. So on Sunday, it was $1.25 plus two donuts. And we'll, we're just going to use X. Two donuts. We could use a D, but we're going to use an X today. So um, then on Monday, and he spent the same amount on Monday, he spent 50 cents because the newspaper is less expensive during the week, and he bought five donuts, five X. And so now we, we want to solve for X to find out the price of a donut. So this is real easy. We're just going to get our X's together, and we're going to get our money together. So um, I don't like negative variables. So I'm not going to take from the five, I'm gonna take from the two. So subtract two X from both sides, and I would get 125 equals 50 cents plus three X. Because now I only have three X, because I took two X away. So I still have money over here, and I've got to get rid of the money over here so I can solve just for x. This is a two-step equation. So I'm going to subtract 50 cents from both sides. So I get 75 cents is equal to 3x. Okay? I know this is getting kind of low. So that's equal to 3x. So 3 quarters, 3x's. So what is each x worth? Divide by 3, divide by 3. So x equals 0.25. And that means that each donut was worth 25 cents. And so let's make sure. So $1.25 plus 50 would be 175 on Sunday. And then 50 cents plus $1.25 would be $1.75 on Monday. So it is the same amount. And so that's how it works to solve a um, word problem with variables on both sides. Let's do one more. You're going to see a lot like this. It's two businesses or two people charging different amounts with a combination of a flat fee and, say, an hourly rate. So let's look at this. Peppy Pets charges a flat fee of $15 plus $3 per hour to keep a dog during the day. Happy Hounds charges a flat fee of $20 plus $1 per hour. For how many hours is the total fee charged by the companies the same? So that same is that equal sign. So let's set it up. I've got $15 plus $3 per hour, okay? And that's going to be equal to $21 plus $1 per hour. So what am I going to do? I'm going to subtract the 1x because I don't like negative variables. And so I get 15 is equal to 20. Okay, jumping too fast. 15 plus 2x is equal to 21 plus, and that's it. 
So now I have a two-step equation, and I'm going to get rid of this 15 so I can get x by itself, and I get 2x equals 6, and so x divided by 2, divided by 2, x equals 3, and that means 3 hours. In 3 hours, those prices would be the same. Let's make sure. 15 plus 3 times 3 is 9, so that's 24 for the first one. And then 21 times, plus 1 times 3 is 3, 24. So 24 does equal 24. If it's 3 hours, it's equal. So I hope this video has been helpful to you on how to set up word problems to solve variables on both sides.